Hi everybody, Marilyn here, and welcome to Saturday Sampler with Cotton and Chocolate. It's October, and welcome to fall, one of my favorite seasons. We're gonna forget about the fact that it's 100 degrees out and jump right into the fall season, and we're gonna start off with a recipe. I love that it's pumpkin season, and so to jump into our recipe, we have chocolate chip pumpkin oatmeal cookies that are really soft and chewy and delicious. I tried a brand new recipe. Oh my gosh, it's so, so, so good. So you're gonna wanna make it. And they just turn out kind of like nice and thick, but really chewy and super, super delicious and nice and chocolatey. Have a wonderful pumpkin spice smell and mm, delicious. So you're gonna want, and, and um, we have, I think I'm just gonna send you the double recipe. There's no point in making like a dozen when you can make more of them. So anyways, your family will love them too, or you'll love them, just eat them all. Okay, so there you go, that's my recipe. And we are doing Eclipse Stars this time, which is page 12. And my, I think this was my favorite block of the whole quilt. I love the look of the block, but there's a lot to it. There's eight fabrics and there's a lot of cutting, okay? So what can I tell you? So pay attention, there's a lot of colors to it. There's a lot to do in the block and you have to make four of them. And um, this is what they look like. It's on the back page. This is the star. So it kind of has a little ombre look to it. The colors are really beautiful and um, I just love it. I think it's so pretty. And they're in the four outside corners of the quilt. So they kind of tie in the whole movement of the quilt. So beautiful but you gotta pay attention to your cutting. So here we have fabric one. And um, with that, you're gonna cut off, so you get these strips. So you are not gonna cut a strip of five and a half inches because you're gonna run out of fabric. So what I do in that long strip, I turn it sideways and then just off of the end, cut two five and a half inch squares. So then you still have some of that strip left to cut the rest of the smaller squares. If you cut a long five and a half inch strip, then you're gonna run out of fabric. And that's gonna be true for all these pieces that you need big squares. You gotta cut that in off the ends, and so you have enough of the rest of the strip to cut the rest of your blocks. Otherwise, you're gonna run out of fabric, okay? So at the end, you're gonna cut two five and a half inch squares for your flying geese, and then you're gonna cut, uh, then I cut a strip of, uh, a three and a quarter inch strip off of what's left and you need four three and a quarter inch squares for your half square triangles and then four two and a half inch squares okay that's here and then fabric three um you're going to cut a three and a quarter inch strip you need eight um three and a quarter inch squares and then i'm going to cut a strip that's three and one eighths and i need eight three and eight inch squares and I labeled each separately because they look almost the same. So here's it says three with three and a quarter and here it says number three with three and an eighth and I really advise doing that so you don't pick up the wrong one because one of them's for the half square triangles and one's for the flying geese. Okay fabric four off the end of it I cut four five and a half inch squares, 16 three and a quarter inch square. So I cut two three and a quarter inch strips, got my 16 three and a quarter inch squares. And then what was left, I cut it down and cut four three and a half inch squares. Okay. You're going to end up using all of that fabric up. All right. Number six, you need two five and a quarter inch squares. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah. Five and a quarter inch squares again. And then you'll cut the strips and you need eight three and an eighth inch squares for the flying geese. Now we're on to fabric nine. All you need are two five and a quarter inch squares for your half square triangles. Fabric 12, you need eight three and an eighth inch squares for your half square, for your flying geese, I'm sorry. So I just cut um, three and an eighth inch strips. Okay, fabric 13, um, This some of this fabric you have a piece left over from a previous block. 
So I got most of my squares from the pack, this packet, but I had to dip in to get the last two and a half inch squares from the previous packet. So you need two five and a half inch um, squares for flying geese. You need um, 12 three and a quarter inch half square triangles and you need four two and a half inch squares. So I just couldn't get all of them out of the existing packet. I had to dip back into what you had saved from previous blocks. Okay. And then um, out of uh, fabric 14, um, you have some saved from a previous block. And so I couldn't get them all out of the, the fabric that was in your packet. So you need to dip into that to get eight three and a quarter inch squares for half square triangles and eight three and an eighth inch squares. And so again, I marked these 14 of them that say three and a quarter and 14 of them, I mean, eight of them that say number 14, three and a quarter and eight of them that say number 14, three and an eighth. But like I said, I had to dip into my previous blocks and so if some of you say, well, I don't have the fabric, you do, and you should have marked it from before um, to save for some of this in, in block 12, okay? So that's the cutting. I'll see you in a few minutes for um, making a lot of flying geese and a good number of half square triangles. Okay, here we go.